Hi. So, recently, I decided to pick back up a game that I started about a year ago, but I quickly lost interest on. That was until I recently discovered this channel by a very talented guy who is developing a beautiful 3D pixel art game. This gave me the idea to do something similar with my game and give it a little glow up. So for a little context, my game has been a 2D isometric pixel art game on a grid-based world, which means that all the sprites are two-dimensional and it makes the game look a little flat and boring. So let's change that with some 3D lights. Well, kind of. It is obviously not possible to use a real 3D lighting system on two-dimensional sprites. However, this is where a little trick called normal maps comes in. A normal map is basically just a second texture that gets slapped onto the original, but it contains information about which part of the sprite is facing into which direction. This is done by just taking the sprite and coloring the certain areas with these colors. Now that the engine knows where each part of the sprite is facing, we can use this in combination with the 2D lighting system, which Unity thankfully already comes with. And as you can see now, the light does not illuminate the entire sprite smoothly, but actually creates a three-dimensional effect. For the nighttime setting, this works perfectly, but during the day I use something called a global light. This type of light does not have an origin, and by that illuminates all the sprites in the scene equally. So I had to come up with a little trick. To achieve the effect of sunlight, I created an extra rendering layer which only targets the objects in the world. Now I created a sprite light which rotates around the camera to highlight the object in sight. So the only thing missing now are shadows. For that, I created a prefab that I could attach to every object that I wanted to cast a shadow. This prefab then just gets the sprite of the object as soon as the scene starts, rotates it by 45 degrees on the x-axis, makes it black and turns the opacity down. Now the only thing to do is update the position and the rotation based on the sprite light that we've created earlier. So finally, here's a little comparison for the before and the after. Thanks for watching.